Hey BR, it's Courtney Fucirelli, the school social worker, wanting to chat with you again today for a Wellness Wednesday tip about keeping yourself well and healthy during this lockdown time. And so you might have heard the expression, um, is your glass half full or half empty? And sometimes that's related to, are you a positive person or a negative person? And that's not really what I'm wanting to chat with about today. I wanted to talk about, is your glass half full or half empty related to stress and self-care? And so what I mean by that is that all of us have a finite amount of space in our lives and in our bodies for stress. And so you might already, just when you wake up in the morning, no matter what happens, before anything has even happened for the day, you already are waking up with your plate or your cup in this sense, being full of certain stressors depending on your life situation. So. For some of you, that might be in regards to your family, there's a little bit of stress happening. There might be situations with money, situations with food, situations with fighting with your friends, with your physical health, mental health, systemic barriers that you're facing in regards to your um, level of income and your, you know, your abilities, your race, all those things matter and they add up to your kind of level of stress that you start out your day with. And so what can you even do about that? Some of those things you can control and some of them you can't. But the, importance, the important thing to know is that when you do things that are self-care, so activity, hang, um, like having a virtual you know, meet up with your friends or going for a walk or you know, doing something fun that you enjoy, playing video games, scrolling on your phone, watching a movie, you know, doing a fun hobby or activity, all of those things that de-stress you, they essentially drain away some of the stress that's happening in your day. And so it's almost like poking a little hole in the bottom of your cup. And so when you build those things into your day, it essentially will drain away some of the stress. It's not gonna take away all of it, but it's going to help take away some of it so that when new things happen, like you're running late for your class um, online or your computer shuts down or you your assignment doesn't get <laughs> handed in properly or, um, you have a fight with somebody online or you're just feeling anything that happens that adds to your day. So all those things, say these are the new stressors that happen and you add them to the old stressors, right? The self-care things will actually drain away so you don't overflow. But if you don't do those self-care things, if you don't do anything that's gonna help you in those moments, then you're very, any new thing that you add is gonna easily overflow your stress, your cup of stress, right? So think about that and think about that as the importance of like a pressure release that you need to kind of do those things that are fun for you and that you are count as self-care for you in order to release some of your stress. And that's the reason why you need to do it. And so try if you can to build some of it in your, into your day. I know it's hard, but try to because it's gonna add and kind of lower your levels of stress overall day after day, okay? Um, so I hope that helps and I will see you again next week. Bye.